I'm Sarah Storelli, on a quest to discover the people behind the cutting edge innovations across industries, to tell the stories that define them far more than their titles. My guest today is Ash Thankey. Well, thanks so much for joining me today on the podcast, Ash. Immensely appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for having me. It's an, it's an honor. I love it. Well, let's dive in. Of so course. how does your culture really define and influence you personally as well as professionally? So I, um, I'm an immigrant to the U.S. who was uh, bought here by immigrants to the U.K. So it's actually an immigrant story. And so... Um, my mom was um, an amazing woman. She passed away many, many years ago. Uh, but she that. really instilled amazing values in me, personal responsibility, integrity, you know, great, great work ethic. And um, it, she was incredibly inspiring. Um, she immigrated from India um, to the UK in uh, the 1970s and uh, did night school and got an accounting degree. Um, and uh, had to, when I was born, had to give up her career um, to look after me because there weren't many child care options. Um, so I'm very, I'm a huge supporter of working moms um, and enabling working moms to kind of be able to participate in the workforce, which I think is incredibly critical. And so I, I, I came here when I was 15 years old, just a working class kid from the London boroughs in the, in, in the city of London. And um, I was telling some of the other the other day, like I don't think that that 15 year old kid would believe me if I went back in time and said, <laughs> "Look, this is where this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm leading." So right. it's a it's a pretty amazing. Um, I, I think it's an amazing journey. That is, and so <clears throat> along that journey, who do you think really has inspired you the most? I know there can be a lot of folks along the way, yep. but is there anyone in particular or something that really so helped instill I've, to make the world a better place? So I've had the good fortune of having amazing leaders and mentors and sponsors. Externally, I really love Carla Harris. Um, she was the vice chair of Morgan Stanley, and, and she talked about how it's incredibly important that if you're going to be a sponsor, if you're going to be a mentor, that you need to spend the performance and relationship currency that you earn to um, help other people inside the organization. Because quite frankly, navigating a large organization like Amazon can, can be difficult. And I think it's really important for senior leaders to um, be able to spend the uh, performance currency and relationship currency that they've earned from all the good work that they've done um, on the next, um, I would say, early career or mid-career hires. I love it. That's amazing. Well, to that point, what is your favorite Amazon leadership principle? It has to be have backbone, disagree, and commit. And I'll tell you why. Um, somebody told me, a senior executive at Amazon told me that um, they've been in so many meetings where people come and they simply don't say anything. And I'm sure you've been in those meetings as well, Sarah. You've got a bunch of people and they're just on listen mode. And I think that it's really important to have diversity of thought. And here's the reason why. Um, even if you disagree with an idea and you disagree with it profoundly, your opinion can help um, navigate the idea or, or what's being discussed in a better direction. Mm -hmm. And even if everything you say gets shot down, it can still affect the overall outcome by even 1%. And I, I think it's really critical. I think it's I think it's really critical that people speak up. And leaders leaders need to leaders actually the leaders I've spoken to implore people, regardless of level, to to speak up. Now, once a decision's been made, I think it's critical that people get on board um, and commit. Because I have seen it also on the other spectrum where builders who don't commit um, tend to get demotivated, they, they, they tend to um, create divides um, inside an organization. And I think that can be really, really tough. So um, it's really critical that, that once a decision has been made, that, that we commit to that idea um, and, and move on and, and continuously try and improve it. Agreed. So I think diversity of thought is imperative to any outcome. Do you think 
given your background though and since you did even you know grow up abroad before coming to the states do you think that that has had some kind of influence in how you approach problems and offer solutions and are open to the diversity of thought of others yeah no definitely i think it's really important to um i mean we have two pizza teams for a reason right and um i think it's really critical to to have if you're discussing a big idea or a controversial idea to have a diverse group of people who may not necessarily agree with you on everything but i think that's what makes ideas fundamentally better it's like interviewing you 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 want to make sure you're if you're hiring and hire and develop the best is another lp that i love but you want to make sure that you have a a, a diverse loop um so people who are, are asking questions that you may not necessarily be thinking mm-hmm. um i think growing up uh, abroad um um and then coming to the us and and kind of learning from different cultures has definitely helped me um understand that it's it's critical to have diversity um not only in your viewpoints but in in generally in life agreed so to that end of course you know generative ai is number one taking over the world this amazing technology being you know deployed by yep. you know millions to that extent what type of opportunities do you see for generative ai as it relates to the national security business which you oversee sure i'll i'll, I'll talk about it in in two fronts um one um I'm very proud to to serve our national security customers, um, and um, I think generative AI is going to be transformational uh, for for their mission. I think with generative AI, with any new technology, you need to get user acceptance, and you need to be able to uh, democratize that technology so more and more people use it. Um, I think democratizing generative AI that helps with simple day to day tasks that improve productivity is going to be a game changer. Um I think it's also going to help with really complex mission problems um that the national security community is is working on. And I I fundamentally believe that you know our war fighters our intelligence analysts um really uh need the very very best technology. Agreed. Now lastly, I would love to know what you would like to be known for to future generations when all is said and done. <laughs> I I think that's um I don't think I've done anything which is critical I think I when I look at it I I look at my team they they are the they are the unsung heroes and um and I I look at our customers in the intelligence community usually when I go out and visit a a visit, visit customers there's this particular customer I go and visit and I always go um round the uh round the front and I pass their magnificent lobby and um on the right there's a memorial wall and I think it really um hits home as to why we 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 do this type of work. Um it's for the people who have sacrificed for our country. Um so our our children, our people can can rest easy at night. I I think if there's one thing I would like AWS to be known for, um uh, not necessarily me, um is that we supported the US government and and helped them with their most mission critical needs. Um and I think there's something to be said about that. Like we um are always innovating, constantly pioneering, um and are always working backwards from the customer. And so um I think for us it's it's very very critical uh that we that we continue that pace of innovation uh, because like I said our intelligence community, our, our war fighters, they need that type of support. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much to everything that you and your team are doing. Thank you. To go help make the world a better place and enable those certain customers so that way they can fulfill their missions beyond belief. So thank you for everything. Of course. Thank you. Thank you.